I'm going to be filming this bridal wedding makeup. I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's just jump right in. So the first step for a wedding makeup is obviously to prime the eyelid, and today I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer, and I've got a little tester of it, so I'm just going to be using that. Next what I'm doing is I'm taking a neutral shadow, and the one that I'm actually going to be using is this one from a collection eyebrow kit. Now I find that using a shadow that's closest to your skin tone after you've applied a primer just makes sure that your eyeshadows are easier to blend. If you ever touch your primer right after you've applied it, it feels sort of sticky, but after you apply a sheer layer of shadow, it feels much more satin and smoother to glide on your shadows afterwards. The next shadow that I'm reaching for is this orange one here. This is from the Sleek All Natural palette. This one is sort of similar to Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek, and that is a very common transition shadow for a lot of beauty gurus on YouTube. So I'm just going to be dusting that on a little fluffy angled brush, and I'm going to pop that in the crease very lightly, and this shadow is a very forgiving shadow so you can kind of be quite messy with this and literally just sweep it around the crease very roughly as you can see it doesn't make a whole lot of difference but it just creates a slight base shadow for when you want to blend out your other shadows that you place later on the next shadow that I'm going to be reaching for is this one here and it's a gorgeous uh, cool toned sort of shimmery champagne color this is by accessorize and it's called silk baked eyeshadow in shade ruby I really love this eyeshadow for the inner part of your eye and that's exactly where I'm going to be placing it today so I'm taking that on a flat brush like this this brush is a gnome gnome brush I don't know what it's called but any flat shadow brush will do what we're gonna do is just pack that onto the center and pull that into the inner corner as well and we're packing this on to get the best pigment out of the shadow as opposed to sweeping it around if you sweep it around that's just gonna make it fly everywhere and you don't want that you want to concentrate the whole pigment in the center and inner corner of your eye and I'm also gonna place that right in my inner corner as well just to open up this area and especially for a wedding look this is just gonna make your eyes look so much brighter and more awake and especially for photography this is just gonna photograph so beautifully as the light reflects from it I'm also gonna pull that into my brow bone just to highlight it slightly as well is actually going to be a little bit more cool toned than the traditional warm toned bridal eye makeup so I'm going to be reaching for a grey shadow from the same uh, sleek palette which is this one here and loading that up onto a fluffy brush I'm just going to be placing that on the outer edge and also blending that into the outer portion of our crease so just be sure to gradually build up this color so it doesn't become too dark too quickly Next I'm going to be going in with a cool toned dark brown which is this one here also from the All Natural Sleek palette. This time I'm taking a more precise brush which is this sort of like pencil shaped dome brush just to add a little bit more depth but still keeping it quite subtle. I'm going to be creating a U shape with this so we're going from the crease in to the lash line just like this. Now we can go back in with our fluffy brush and just blend this out. I'm going to be returning back to that same grey shadow and just blend that over this dark brown that we placed. And what you have to do is just really keep blending it until everything is nicely faded in. I'm then returning back to my flat brush and dusting off any remaining residue of that earlier shadow and I'm going to be using this to line the lower lash line so I'm going to be reaching for that dark brown and that grey shadow again and just mixing them together and then just pulling that into the lower lash line to tie the whole look together. So as you can see so far what we've created is this sort of round shape around the eye so it's sort of like a halo smoky eye as opposed to a tapered cat eye and the reason why I did that is because it looks much softer and especially in photos it's going to look more natural but to actually break up this circle we're going to be creating a smoky line right here using a black shadow and the reason why we're going to be using a black shadow as opposed to an eyeliner is that again it's going to look much more natural and just soft and delicate and very very feminine. So I'm now actually reaching for a different palette and the one I'm using is the Naked 2 
palette. I'm going to be using Blackout, which is probably the darkest black shadow that I own. I'm taking that on a little angled brush, and this is by MAC, but I'm not too sure which one this is, so just any angled brush will do. So what I'm doing is I'm loading that up on the brush, and then I'm just tapping that on my hand to dust off any of the product that may have not been picked up by the bristles properly. And what we're going to be doing first is just creating a thin line right next to the lash line, so I'm just packing that product into the lash line. Now that that's done, we can start creating the soft wing on the outer corner. So we're just going to be joining that line and slightly flicking it out like this. So this is what you want to be aiming for, it's a nice subtle line that's slightly smoked out into a little wing. And then what you can do is pull that line underneath your lower lash line as well, just to connect to that wing. Next I'm taking my Rimmel Scandalize Coal Eyeliner and this is in shade 00 Nude and I'm going to be using that to line my lower waterline with this. And what that is going to do is just open up the eye a lot more and make it look larger and more awake. And then I'm also taking my Rimmel Exaggerate Coal Liner in black and I'm just going to be using that to tight line my upper lash line. Now for mascara, you ideally want to use something waterproof, but because I don't have one, I'm just going to be using my favourite mascara. I'm just going to be using this L'Oreal False Wings Midnight Black Mascara, which looks like this. I don't know if they actually sell this in England or if it's being sold anymore, but it's so beautiful because of this amazing wand. It just creates the most beautiful lashes. Now for the lower lashes, I'm going to be using a slightly smaller mascara, and I'm going to be using this YSL Baby Doll Mascara, and this is a little tester, but the wand is like perfect for the bottom lashes because it's so thin and so small. Now for lashes, I'm going to be using these Kimberly lashes, and these are created by Isla. I've actually cut them down into little demi lashes though, because I feel like if you have a whole band of eyelash on your eye throughout the whole day it's just gonna feel horrible on your eyes and you really don't want that on your wedding day and if you're gonna wear a whole full band of eyelashes you're just exposing yourself to a major risk of unsticking of the eyelash in the corners and you definitely don't want to be like fiddling around with your eyelash on your wedding day so I personally feel like demi lashes or single lashes are the perfect option for a wedding makeup look so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick on my other eyelash and I'll be right back so I have just applied the other eyelash and I love these so much because they still look kind of natural but give that extra wispiness and butterfly effect to your eyelashes on the outer corners and they just make your lashes look very fluttery and pretty. Now to achieve that flawless complexion for your wedding day you are going to want to use a foundation that has no SPF in it. You're going to have photos of you taken all day and you don't want any flashback on the camera when there's flash photography. For today I'm actually just going to be using a concealer and the one I'm using is the Bobbi Brown concealer but unfortunately I don't know which shade this is in because the label has completely rubbed off. I think it's like a foundation stick actually. So I'm just going to be using this to get rid of any under eye circles or any blemishes that I may have. So the powder I'm going to be using is this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. You can never go wrong with this powder. There's so many shades of this. I'm going to be using this flat top brush to apply it. You're not going to be swirling it around your face or anything, you just want to really buff it in to make sure it comes out most effective and that way you're going to reduce any pores that you may have and also effectively absorb any moisture on your face. Next we're going to be bronzing up the face a little bit and for this I'm going to be using this cute little bronzer which is by The Balm and this is in shade Take a Dip. It looks like this. This is a really gorgeous bronzer shade but I feel like it can also act as a blush because it's quite a universal shade. You can also apply that on your jawline just to sharpen your jawline up a little bit. Now for blush I feel like something quite peachy and natural looking will be gorgeous with this look so I'm going to be reaching for this blush by Galen and it's this nice peachy shade and I love this so much it's one of my staple blushes of all time so I'm taking my Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks now for the lips I'm thinking about using a nude sort of pinky natural looking shade and I'm firstly going to be lining my lips with this Clarins lip liner and this is in shade Praline so applying that lip liner is just going to ensure that your lipstick stays on in the same place all day long and doesn't go outside of the lines and now for the lipstick I'm going to be going in with MAC Velvet Teddy the reason why I chose this lip 
lipstick is because it's matte and it's like the perfect nude shade so this is going to act as a great base for our lipstick and this literally doesn't budge it's like one of the most long lasting lipsticks that I have so I feel like using this as a base shade for the lips is just going to make sure that any lipstick that we place on afterwards is just going to have something to stick onto and cling throughout the whole day so I feel like this look on its own is already a great look for a wedding makeup but because flash photography can tend to wash out the pigments on your face and especially your lips I feel like going for a slightly more pink toned lip is going to be more safe of an option so over this lipstick I'm actually going to be using this lipstick by who are you Maybelline New York and this is called Power Peony and this is a lovely pink shade it looks very very pink on the camera but it's much more toned down in person and we're not going to be using this like all over the lips we're going to be using a sheer layer of this over the MAC lipstick so this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed this and I don't know if this is like a traditional wedding makeup look but if I was to get married like tomorrow this is probably what I'd do from on myself so if you enjoyed this video then definitely give it a thumbs up and if you want to see any more makeup tutorials like this then definitely let me know down below I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you on my next video Bye.